Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. WLAD is a popular open source firmware for ESP devices for controlling addressable LEDs, also known as New Pixel. In this very quick tutorial, I'm going to explain how to get started and flush it on an ESP development board directly from your web browser. For the demonstrations, I'm going to use Anime Miracle Emitter. This is an open source hardware development board that I have designed in KiCad and it is built around Xiao model with ESP32C3 um, microcontroller. However, this tutorial is universal and with minor adjustments you can use it on any other ESP32 board. WLED is a fast and feature-rich implementation of a web server to control new Pixel LEDs. Upon successful installation of WLED, you get a very easy-to-use modern UI with core, effect and segment controls. The hardware that I'm going to use for this demonstration includes a personal computer, in my case a laptop with Ubuntu Linux distribution, also a development board with ESP32, in my case this is Anavi Miracle Emitter with ESP32C3 and a USB-C cable. I have connected a short strip with 10 addressable LEDs. Keep in mind that new pixels consume quite a lot of power. Because of this, it's not a good idea to connect the development board with the uh, LED strip directly to your computer if there are many LEDs on the strip. If not sure, just connect and flash the board first and after that use an external power supply and add your LED strip. However, for the simplicity in this video, I'm using a very short strip so it can be powered directly from the USB port on my computer and I'll directly use it this way. Now let me show you how to install WLAD from a web browser. Obviously the first step is to load a Chrome web browser and to visit the URL install.wlad.me. The second step is to connect the ESP board to a computer. In this case I'm using USB to USB-C cable to connect Anavi Miracle Emitter which incorporates Xiao module with ESP32C3 RISC-V microcontroller. Inside the web browser, from the drop-down menu, select the WLED version that you want and hit install. A pop-up window will inform you that WLED needs access to the serial port, so you have to select this port. In my case, I'm using Ubuntu Linux distribution on this PC, therefore I'm going to select TTY ASM0. However, if you are uh, using a different operating system, it's going to differ. For example, on Microsoft Windows, most probably it is going to be COM3 or higher. Selecting the proper serial port is the tricky part, especially for beginners. Here is a replay from another point of view. After figuring out the serial port, select Install WLAD from Device Dashboard and confirm the installation. The installation will take a moment, please patiently wait while it completes. Here I'm going to speed up the video. The last step is to provide your Wi-Fi credentials so that the ESP device can connect to your local area network through Wi-Fi. After that, I can visit the device. This is the WLED web page from an HTTP server that is running on the ESP device. After successfully flashing the open source WLAD firmware on my development board, I have to configure two things. First, I have to set the number of LEDs. Uh, in my case, I have 10 LEDs. And the second thing, which is actually even more important, is to configure the GPIO pin on the development board, which I'm using to control the new pixels. Navigate to the top menu in the WLAD UI and from it select config. From the configuration option select LED preferences. For new pixel length LED I'm going to type 10 because I have 10 LEDs on this short LED strip and for the GPIO for controlling the new pixels I'm going to also enter 10. This is because I'm using GPIO 10 from the Xiao ESP32C3 module on Anavi Miracle Emitter. Here is a quick replay with a closer look. Finally, click Save. This way, the configuration changes will take effect and you'll be able to use WLAD to control the addressable LED strip. 
That's it. Now I have the popular open source software WLAD installed and successfully working on my Anavim Miracle emitter. This is a board with Xiao ESP32C3. You can apply the same steps to different boards with ESP32 or ESP8266 microcontrollers. However, you have to make sure that you are adjusting properly the number of LEDs that you want to control and also the GPIO pin that you use to control them. As you can see, WLAD offers a modern UI that's easy to use. There are color, effect and segment controls and um, WLAD has integrated more than 100 special effects. It is a truly remarkable open source project. By the way, the source code is available at GitHub under the European Union public license. One more thing, WLAD has native Home Assistant integration. I'm pretty sure that the viewers of my channel are familiar with Home Assistant. However, let me summarize that this is an open source uh, software solution for home automation. By the way, the default firmware of Anavim Miracle Emitter is also compatible with Home Assistant. However, through an Immacuity integration and Arduino sketch that I have created, Anavim Miracle Emitter will be shipped with this default Arduino sketch. However, as you can see, with the power of open source, you have the freedom to choose your own firmware and you can easily flash WLAD from a web browser. At the end of the demo, let me fast forward so you can have a quick look at the enormous number of animations available through WLAD. Let's get technical and see how the hardware works. Anavim Miracle Emitter has been designed with the free and open source software keycard. Here are the schematics. GPIO 10 controls the new pixels. The new pixels work at 5 volts logic and the ESP32 works at 3.3 volt logic. Therefore, we have a single buffer Schmidt trigger as a level converter. Here is the PCB viewing keycard. To prevent spikes, there is also a choke resistor marked with R3. Let's summarize what we've learned in this video. WLED is a smart open source firmware for controlling addressable LED strips, also known as new pixel LEDs. By the way, apart from new pixel uh, LED strips, it can also control new pixel LED panels. As you have seen, the installation of WLED from web browser is straightforward and very simple. Thank you for watching this video. As you have seen, it is super easy to get started with the popular open source firmware WLAD and an ESP32 development board. In this video, I made demonstrations using Anavim Miracle Emitter. This is an open source hardware development board that I've designed uh, using the free and open source software KiCad. All schematics are available in GitHub. By the way, Anavim Miracle Emitter will come out of the box with open source firmware that I've written as an Arduino sketch that works directly with Home Assistant over Enquity. However, as you have seen, you can also use it with WLAD. If you like this type of content, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like button and stay tuned for new videos. See you soon.